Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lord Sworn Straight Sword, a straight sword with optimal scaling in both strength and dexterity, so whether you want to go the heavy route or the keen route, it's really up to you. I tried 70 strength with the heavy infusion and 70 dexterity with the keen, and the one-handed damage was pretty much the same, although when two-handing the heavy did get the edge, so if you do plan to two-hand your straight sword, go with the strength route. I plan to do wield mine, and they're both one-handed, so I'm going to go with the keen route for today's showcase. I also gain access to the lightning infusion this way, since the lightning infusion is dexterity scaling, so I have access to all the regular keen infusions, and the lightning ash of wars as well if I want to go with the lightning infusions. I feel like this is just the more interesting route for the build today. As for the stats, I have my usual high health pool, so we do have our 58 vigor, we have the 26 endurance because it's the minimum needed to wield both the weapons, armor, and talismans that I plan to showcase for today. And then all the rest of our points are just poured into our dexterity, so we have 71 dexterity with a damage output of 574 when lightning infused. As for the choice of talismans, I'm running the Shard of Alexander to boost the Ash of War damage from all the different Ashes of War we're going to be trying out today. We have the Claw Talisman because I love jump attacks, and when do wielding straight swords, it's definitely one of the best moves, so you want to use the Claw Talisman with the setup. And then we have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Urge Face Favor plus 2 with the HP stamina and equip load boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset, the one handed light attack chain is the horizontal slashes. The R2 is my favorite, the forward thrust. I love the straight sword thrust attack for the heavy attack, and then if you follow it up, you get the upward slash as well. The running R1 is just a horizontal slash, but it has good range, very good for roll catching. You can kind of chain it together if they happen to get stunned and they don't have enough poise to tank the straight sword. Then you have the backstep running attack as well, pretty similar to the regular running attack, just the angle that you swing the sword is a little bit different. The jumping light and the jumping heavy both come up pretty quickly. I prefer the jumping light though, I feel like it's easier to manually aim, you can delay it for the roll catch. Then you have the rolling and the crouch attack, another form of the forward thrust, so you can use that as a mix up. If you happen to land something like the jumping heavy and they get stunned, you can get a roll catch with the crouch R1. As for the dual wield moveset, the dual light attacks come out extremely quickly. They have pretty good range on the opening L1, so you can use that as a roll catch. Go towards your opponent and just aggress with the L1. You can roll catch right after it if they panic roll. Actually, sometimes the secondary part of the attack will also get the roll catch. If they happen to roll anywhere around you, you can manually aim the second follow-up. Then you have the jumping dual light attack. Comes up very quickly, has very good range, and if you do happen to land it, you can follow it up with the secondary part of the L1 chain for a roll catch. Then you have the running dual wheel attack, which is a thrust followed by a slash. I don't find myself hitting the slash very often, but the thrust can work, but they usually dodge out of the secondary part of the running attack. And then we have the backstep dual wheel attack, the double thrust. Definitely my favorite. You can use that after any attack to follow up. If you happen to land the jumping dual wheel attack, you can cue the backstep, get the dual thrust there. And then there's the rolling and the crouch dual wheel attack. I don't use this very often, but it could be useful if you happen to get a stun, maybe crouch towards them, try to get a roll catch. I probably would use the regular crouch R1 more though. Its range is just easy, comes out quickly, easy to manually aim and get a roll catch. As for the Ash of War, this is a regular smithing stone upgrade weapon, so we do gain access to many different Ashes of War. I'm going to be starting off with Square Off because it's the old Dark Souls 3 weapon art. You get the upward slash, or you get the run forward thrust. Very good for roll catches. And then in the offhand, I'm just running the Thunderbolt for the long range punish if they happen to stay away from me. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how this performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first battle, we have Whirl. Hello there, Whirl. He Hi. is a Claymore user. Alright, give him a nice bow. Yeah, he's got some buffs going on. Alright, drink our flask. I have the lightning physic in here, I believe, which is interesting. We're both rocking some lightning. Will I bounce off? Okay, will not. We did poise break him with the dual hit. Okay, so two hits of a straight sword is more than enough. What about this? Oh, that actually roll caught <laughs> and did a lot of damage, honestly. Square Off is such a basic, like, Ash of War. It's just the old Dark Souls 3 straight sword weapon art, but it works really well. That's some good range. All right, fun fight, Whirl. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Burzerok. Hello there, hey. sir. With a hey. Colossal Sword and a Great Shield. Interesting. Interesting setup. Get your buff going, sir. Buff. Buff. No? No buffs? Okay, just I guess he's just already like super tanky, right? <laughs> All the stats are in his weight load, I guess. Colossal sword with I wonder how good this would guard break. Well, if I would have hit it, maybe then I would have found out, but you know, the way my aim goes. Oops, wrong sword. Aha! I'm holding the wrong other sword in my hand. <laughs> Too many straight swords. Backstab! Ah oh, I really wanted that one. That would've been really cool. Let's go back to square off for the roll catch. Oh! Did he let go of his guard, maybe? Possibly? 
It definitely doesn't do that much damage through the shield. I think he let go of guard like last second there. Very fun fight though, Berserk. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Triple X. Hello there. Hey! Oh, almost rocking. Oh no, he's got a straight sword as well. Okay, we got our buffs going. Nice. Straight sword and shield. I kind of like that. Just because we're also rocking a, a dual setup here with straight swords. All right, so he went for the R2, the jumping R1. Shield bash? I actually don't know the full range of shield bash, but honestly, it's pretty long from what I'm seeing here. Oh, we got a guard break. Oh, it will the crit. It will do that much damage. Repost in this game do so much damage. <laughs> Very fun fight though, man. Nice to see a fellow straight sword user. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Sir Cypress. Hello there, Sir Cypress. We'll give you the wave into bow combo. <laughs> uh, what are you rocking? So you have a Colossal Sword. Oh, it's the Ant one, yes. So he's rocking a wizard build, but not, not any wizardry. That's kind of my favorite. Oh, he got stunned from one hit of a straight sword? Does that armor not have decent poise? I'm gonna not get hit by that. <laughs> Has the potential of one shot if fully connected, so... We're gonna avoid that as best we can. Indeed we are. Um, we get some long range hits here. I don't think he's prepared for that. Nope. He definitely was not. Jump attack! <laughs> very fun fight, Sir Cypress. That Ash of War is very powerful, but you kind of want to use it when you know the trade's gonna happen. It is hard to land, though. I see why he was going for it, though. It does so much damage. Moving on to our next battle, we have... Frozed, and I also decided to cold infuse my weapon since they scale off dexterity like that anyway. You get good scaling kind of across the board with strength dex int. Pretty similar AR. You get frostbite buildup as well. All right, uh, he's got his madness spear, Vikes war spear. Okay, 576. That's actually not bad at all in terms of damage output for this. <laughs> I was going to say, you're attacking from far away. What if I pulled you closer? <laughs> Why, hello there. <laughs> hello. <laughs> come, come back here. <laughs> okay, it didn't pull him out of his Ash of War, but that was pretty cool. Gravity. Oh, I wanted to try to mix the two. Ah, that would have been cool. Unfortunate. Oh, 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 that was bad. That was very bad. I thought I'd get a heavy attack out of that, but nope. I did not. Okay, I jumped into it once. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not jumping into it another time. <laughs> this is simply not happening. But here's my counter if you do. <laughs> he wants to do it again. I already know. Dragon breath. Ugh. Take this then. Sir. <laughs> How many more spells you gonna throw my way? Apparently all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> my man is an FP. You know what? I have FP as well. Hang on. Do it again. Oh, then it disconnected him. No way. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll find him again. We must end that fight. Would you look who we found? <laughs> hey, man. We have to finish our fight. That was that was too close to not finish. Get your buffs going. Get your buff going. <laughs> Get your... Oh, don't tell me. Why did... Okay. Those two people in a row that didn't have a physic flask ready. Okay, though, he's got all of his madness stuff, I suppose. Come closer, sir. Let me get a good look at you. I want to try my, my meme and land it. Ah. I must land it. I want to land this into the gravitas. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm holding the wrong straight sword. No! <laughs> my combo. That's still the wrong one. This... Is what I wanted. Ah, yes. No. <laughs> no more of that. <laughs> Alright. Very fun fight, man. Both of them.
there that was quite interesting <laughs> moving on to our final battle we have grandma lenore hello there with some form of giant axe is that the godfrey axe oh hello <laughs> He, he lit his lantern. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, uh, I want to try double slash. That's got a wide AoE. We'll just try to punish it a little bit. What? <laughs> Honestly, that's like the best thing that the axe has going for it. Is that heavy attack chain. It's hard to land as well. So, I, I know I used it for a showcase. I feel the pain here. <laughs> the follow-up is sometimes a good bait. Like, you kind of have to trade with that axe. Which is very difficult. <laughs> my double slash on my straight sword. Not the most optimal, but sometimes works. There's a good hit. Here's this is for you. Grandma. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> very fun fight, Grandma Lenore. I appreciate the use of the Godfrey Axe as well. Interesting armor. Alright, now let's just see how this performs in Invasions. Alright, jumping into our first invasion, we start out in the usual Castle Soul. And we've invaded Absolute Ab. It's got that one strong Ab. They are out by the Mausoleum. Hello there! There's a whole pack in here. Hello guys! Oh, oh we're ready for war here. Hello. Hello. Um, I'll give you a nice wave. Oh, they are buffing up. Alright. A whole army. Uh, I don't want all the bubbles on you guys. That is wizardry. And I'm not a fan of wizardry. Okay, we get away from the range of the wizardry. Alright, so. We must contend with... These guys' bubble is gone at least. That's bad. They have a lot of AoE. <laughs> Indeed they do. Someone died over there. I don't know how, but they did. Oh wait, no they didn't. Why did it sound like they did? That's the the wave of doom. I heard a death sound. Oh, it was them just getting hit by a bird. You don't have any more FP, silly. Get him, birdie. Use your powers, bird. While I dodge that. Whew. Backstab. Backstab. <laughs> Very useful. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that I backstabbed him. Oh, guard break with the flaming strike. That looked pretty cool. Oh, that was the host. Unfortunate. Well, very fun fight, boys. That was a really interesting invasion. Don't shoot the pews at me! <laughs> well, that was a fun one. Moving on to our second invasion, we are now in crumbling Faramazula, and... Sort of seems like... I was spawned quite far away from my opponents. Uh... Finger. Save me. This seems to have brought in me the correct area, yes. Alright. What a weird spawn point. Okay, so they... are most likely below me, right? Indeed they are. Hello there. Hello. You, you can... I will walk over there, but... I expect great danger. Hello. Okay, we could have like a nice honor fight then. If you're out of Estus, Mr. Itama. Backstab! Almost. Almost a backstab. Whoa. I hit the pillar. Whoa. I landed the first strike. I landed the second strike. I feel like this other guy's gonna hit me in a second. Okay, there is no honor to be had here. <laughs> Itama does not want the honor fight. That's fine. We'll just hit him with lightning bolts then. Dance, Itama. Can I get him while he's over there? No. Sneaky, Mr. Itama. Backstab? No backstab. Sorry, hostie. Didn't mean to hit you. You can help out your son, bro, though. 
He's totally got some low HP. I'm not going over there. That, that, that's, a, that's a sneaky death. Oh, wait. What the? I just realized I was planning to cold infuse my weapons before I invaded, but I got the invasion, so I have the cold physic ready first. <laughs> like, why is my physic cold? Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump. <laughs> my cold physic is my lightning weapons. <laughs> All right. uh, I'm just very optimal. Alright, this is me and you now, hosty. Uh, lightning bolts? Okay. Okay, we're, we'll reset. We'll reset. I don't know. I don't know why you fell there, but no. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, now I can go cold and fuse my weapons. <laughs> All right, jumping into our final invasion, we are in Mikola's Halig Tree, and I am in a spawn point that I don't understand, but I am near them apparently. Can I survive that fall? I suppose. Maybe. Can go here. And then in here. Oh, they're over by the... Oh, well, there goes the phantom. I was a little bit too slow to get there. But at least it wasn't the host. <laughs> I know not where the host is, but I'm going to find them. I think I know where the host is. By the poison flowers. <laughs> wait. Yeah, wait. Oh, okay, they're that way. This place is a maze. Hey, a hunter summon. Nice. Oh, I found the hostie. Hello, Mina. Hello. You have dual katanas. Is it a moon veil? Probably. Oh, well. <laughs> well, where's the, was there a summon down here? Salmon, come back! <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. Those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Lord Sworn Straight Sword. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized there at the showcase, and of course, keep throwing your weapon recommendations below. I really do appreciate it. This is goodbye until the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.